to privatize or not to privatize? That's a question being asked by the Syracuse Common Council about Hancock International. The decade-long effort to create an independent authority to run the airport was delayed again this week as the council wanted more time to ask questions. It's legislation that Councilman Pat Hogan says needs to get taken care of already. Yeah, oh, this has been talked about for years and years. We're the only upstate airport that doesn't have an authority. And the biggest reason for the holdup in getting that authority is the issue of protecting the living wage rights for airport employees like these. The ones who take care of the jobs most would hesitate to do for an hourly pay of under $12. Airport employees declined to address the matter, but Anna Marie Talierko, president of the Central New York Labor Federation, likened the situation to a private company lowering pay without having to answer to anybody. And in terms of the workers' rights, it would no longer it would mean that the living wage ordinance that was passed in 2005 would no longer apply to the workers there. Inside City Hall, Councilman Hogan not sure when the next vote will take place. But for something the city has been trying to take care of for a decade, the toll is really starting to get to Hogan. Oh, it's incredibly frustrating. Because once again, we're like delaying a real important vote that's going to serve this community well economically. That vote, to the dismay of each side, is yet to be rescheduled. Kevin Ware, NCC News.